everyone it's Keegan and today I wanted to get ready do a get ready video I don't know what I was gonna say to that okay so while I was getting ready for Easter I thought I would bring you along and I guess you could watch me get ready that sounds really weird though it is really hot oh maybe that's why my curling irons on so while I was getting ready I thought I'd bring you guys along and yeah so this is just a get ready with me and while i was getting ready i was watching secret life of the american teenager and while i was curling my hair you guys could see some of my reactions and it was kind of hilarious yeah so i hope you guys like this video and if you have any video requests you can leave them in the down bar and yeah let's get started so as for the makeup i wanted to go with something that was simple but not like basic I don't know but I'm just starting off by applying my origins ginseng eye cream and this brightens up your under eyes and has this kind of luminosity to it so it's really pretty underneath makeup and I like it <laughs> I don't know what to say that sorry and I'm going to be applying my Urban Tate eyeshadow primer potion this is a little baby one and I'm just applying that to my eyes to make sure my eyeshadow doesn't crease because it likes to do that. And I'm starting off with eyeshadow because I don't really want a ton of fallout all over my face. Yeah. And then I'm taking Max Shroom eyeshadow and I really like this color and I'm just applying that with a pencil brush on my lid and I'm also bringing that on my inner corner to brighten it up and just make me look more awake. I really like this color. I think it's a very subtle, pretty, beautiful color and yeah. <laughs> Then I'm going with my Naked 3 palette, and I'm picking up the color Liar, which is a beautiful, kind of brownie pink color, but it kind of, the way I'm describing it, it sounds ugly, but it's really pretty. And I'm just applying that on an angled brush to my outer corner, and kind of a V formation. And this is my favorite color in that palette, if you were to ask me. And I'm just taking the brush it comes with to blend that out. You say I'm taking more of Shroom just in the inner corner because I really want to look awake because I was super tired because I fell asleep at like 5 a.m. <laughs> that night. And I am taking Strange and just applying that to my brow bone with a concealer brush and I really like this brush for that. And then I am taking Crave by Urban Decay and this is just a matte brown eyeliner and I'm just applying that to my upper lash line just to make my eyelashes look thicker. I'm not really trying to have the fact that I'm wearing eyeliner show. I'm just trying to add more like volume and make it look like I have more eyelashes and thicker ones than I actually do, if that makes sense. And then for the face makeup, I'm using the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. And I'm basically just going to apply this to my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, and my nose. Kind of like war paint, but yeah. I just feel like this is like less makeup than foundation. Like I do understand, like concealer is probably thicker, but it's still less. And I am just applying that, or not applying it, I'm blending that in with a foundation brush. And I've been doing this a lot recently and I really like it. Because it makes me look like I'm wearing foundation, but I'm not. And then I'm taking the CoverGirl and Only Simply Ages Under Eye Concealer and applying that under my eyes, of course. And I have really, really bad creases under my eyes, so this is the only thing that won't crease as bad. So that's why I'm using two concealers here and not the Fit Me one underneath my eyes, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and then I'm taking Rimmel Stay Matte and just setting all of that. I'm starting with the foundation brush underneath my eyes, because like I said, I have bad creases. And then I'm just taking a powder brush, and I like to pinch the brush, so it's kind of like a fan brush, so it just kind of, I don't know, I feel, I feel like it works better. And I'm taking Hoola Bronzer and just applying that on the hollows of my cheeks and on my temples to add some color to my face, because I felt really, I don't know, I just felt weird, so I'm like, I need some color. And then I'm just curling my eyelashes with my Tarte Eyelash Curler, and sometimes my eyelashes get stuck to this and it pulls them out, and I really don't like that. And I'm taking Benefits Their Real Mascara to apply to my upper and lower lashes. I wanted super long lashes, but I was like, no, I'm not applying fake lashes. I was like, no, no. I was like, no, no, no. 
So I'm just applying that to my eyelashes. And I'm taking a matte brown eyeshadow and I'm just filling my brows with this with an angled brush. I don't really have like a brow powder that I'm in love with so I just use this because I feel like it looks the most natural. And I'm trying to fill in the sparse spots, not really shape them or anything, just make it look like I have eyebrows. And I'm setting them with this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I really like it but it's, it's awesome. And I wanted some color to my lips, so I'm taking this Naked Lip Gloss in Love Child, and it's by Urban Decay, and it's a really pretty color. So that is the completed makeup. And now I get to pose for you, yay! It's so awkward when I pose, I'm like, I don't really know what to do, so I just kind of like rock back and forth and smile like I am there. See, yeah, it's awkward when I pose, I just, I don't know. And as for the hair, I decided to curl it. And I like curling my hair, but I'm kind of lazy too. So first I'm starting off brushing my hair, and I pinned up my hair so you guys could see it better, uh, yeah. And the trick to a super soft curl, or soft looking curl, is to brush out each section before you curl it. And I'm using my Remington Curling Iron, which I'm in love with this thing, you guys. I don't know, I just really like it. So yes, I'm just wrapping the hair around my curling iron, holding it for a while, and then I just kind of let it go, and I just throw it behind my shoulder. And if you do bigger sections, I always kind of like to break them up and make little pieces to it. So yeah, that was just one big section right there. And like I said, brushing out. I feel like that's a good trick. I don't know. Maybe you guys might not want that, but I, I thought that was a good trick. I also like to reverse the way that the curling iron is going, or the hair is going, if you know what I mean. It makes it look more natural and not so structured. And speaking of that, I just like to use my fingers to brush out the curls when I'm done curling each section because I don't really want like very tight curls. I used to like that and just not really anymore. I'm kind of over that. So I was watching Secret Life of the American Teenager and here are some of my reactions. I'm not kidding. These are not like staged. Like I'm not even kidding. I was so shocked because I was watching like five episodes while I was filming this video. But yeah. <laughs> that one's not very good. Sorry. This one I was like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is seriously what I look like when I'm watching TV. It's kind of sad. And like I said, I'm just brushing out with my fingers. And by it, I mean my hair. <laughs> and then I am just taking a hairspray. And the hairspray I'm using is the L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray. And I'm just spraying that in my hair. I really like this because it holds my curls, but I can't feel the hairspray. But it smells really bad, so yeah. And then I am done with the hair. Yay! So this is the dress I wore. It's from Target. And you guys can't see it because I wasn't wearing it, but I had some flats from Charlotte Russe and then like bracelet and some rings from Brandy Melville. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye! Oh, it's hot in here. I feel like that, um, that one thing from Nemo. It's like...